Hey everyone! In this video we're talking about implicit differentiation. And when we talk about differentiating implicitly, what we mean is instead of something like d over dx of x squared, that would just be 2x, it would be differentiating with respect to a variable other than x. So maybe y. If we had y squared, we can't just differentiate the same way we did with x. So we're going to talk a little bit about the method in this video. So why don't we do the implicit derivative of y squared. So the first thing you do is you think, if this was x, what would the derivative be? It would be 2x. But it's not x, it's y. And y is some function we would imagine in terms of x. We don't know what the function is. So we then have to multiply by whatever the derivative of y is, which we don't know. And the symbol for that is just y to the, the apostrophe, which we call y prime. So let's do another one. Let's do the derivative dy dx of 3y squared minus 3y. So we'll take the derivative of that, the derivative of 3y squared. Well, if it was x, that would be 3 times 2x to the power of 1 would be the derivative of x squared. But it's not x, so we have to multiply by y prime, whatever that derivative is, minus 3 times y. Well, if that was x, the derivative of 3x would just be 3 times x would become 1. So we would go 3 times, we don't know what, x, what y is, so we just say y prime. So implicit differentiation, it is a little confusing. So what I always do is just what I've shown you here, think if it was x, how would I differentiate it? differentiate it as far as you need to, as far as you can, and then just multiply by y prime afterwards. I think that's the most straightforward way to try a question like this. So let's do one that has x's and y's in it at the same time. Really not too bad. Let's do, let me pull my board down. Okay, 4x squared plus 3y squared minus 3x equals 20. And we are just going to take the derivative of each side. The derivative of 4x squared would be 4 derivative of x squared is 2x, to just be 8x. The derivative of 3y squared would just be 3 times, if it was x squared, it would be 2x, but it's not 2x, it's y, so we'll put 2y and multiply it by y prime. 3 times 2 would be 6. y prime and then what was it? Negative 3x. The derivative of x is just 1, so this will just become negative 3 equals the derivative of any constant, any number, would just be 0. So what we have is 8x plus 6y prime minus 3 equals 0. We need to solve so that we can say y prime equals. And just FYI, y prime is the same as saying dy dx. So we want to say dy dx equals, we need to just rearrange the equation so that we've got all our y's on one side and everything else on the other side. So I'm going to subtract 8x, so I'll put that on the other side, and I'm going to add 3, so I'll put that on the other side. So those will cancel out, those will cancel out, and I'll be left with 6y prime equals negative 8x plus 3. All I need to do to get y prime by itself is divide both sides by 6, 
those will cancel out, and I'll get y prime equals negative 8x plus 3 equals 6. And that's the answer.